So what we're going to do is make a tier list. And that's mainly you guys making a tier list rather than me making a tier list. Um, there's this specific link where you can see this uh, screen itself. And the moment I start playing it, you will get 30 seconds for each unit and they will be released in sequence. I'm not going to do thumbnails in the video or like the, the not the thumbnails, the timestamps in the video of where each unit is normally because it's just going to go from top left to bottom right and it's going to be 30 seconds each. So you kind of have to check where your unit is currently and then see from there. I think I'll keep it most of the time at the view that it's viewable. What's the next unit will be as well. Wait, where the hell is my bar at? So I think I'll be viewing it mostly like this so you can check what unit is coming next as well. And then it's, if I'm not mistaken, going to be you guys voting and then taking the average tier list or the average tier from whatever you guys voted at. So not entirely sure how that's going to work, if it's going to work, but let's just give it a try. I hope everyone is ready. We have 60 people here in this thing. And uh, in the meantime, I'll also be like talking about previous units. And this is just kind of a trial. Maybe 30 seconds is too long. Maybe it's too short, but let's see. And let's get this going for the events going. So you can vote wherever you want to put your unit. Um, I'm not going to say anything until it's there. But this is actually kind of cool. Like we, we see a lot of people voting in here. And from there we can see like where the unit is going to be placed at. 75 tier. I would expect Kabila a little bit lower. I tried to put all units in that are meta relevant. Not all of them are super meta relevant. But definitely something that I would say like most of these units are somewhat relevant. Oh, it's actually taking them full on random. Wow, okay. I thought it was taking the tier list um, from the start to all the way to the end. But it's actually not there. We have Vitra coming next. Vitra is somewhat used by some people for the counter and the taunts. Or is it? No, wait, it's a threat state, like a constant threat state that it's on there. Vitra lower than Kabila. Interesting, definitely interesting. A few seconds left. We had 30 people voting right now. So there's definitely, like, if you want to participate in voting for this as well, you can still do this. So, yeah, it's going by roulette. Oh, we have, uh, I don't even know the name of this thing. Like, it's Dave Varsh or something. I would say that he's pretty strong, but it is definitely difficult to place him into, like, a proper fitting team. Like, it's hard to put him into the proper fitting team. But when he is there, he's definitely pretty strong. Like, it's one of those very strong, like, Fifth picks, and we have uh, Matthias with a Primer. Appreciate it. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. Like thirty seconds is good, right? I think thirty seconds is a good amount for uh, having a chance to vote. We have the light one coming after that. Wait, it's going from all the way back. It could be that it goes backwards all the way. Would make sense. Would make sense. So. We're going from all the way back and then all the way to the top. So also a unit you don't see too much. Personally, I would vote it a little bit lower because this is RTA. Keep in mind, guys, it's RTA. So, but it is, this one is definitely something that you guys vote on more or it's more you guys' vote than me saying like, hey, this is my tier list, but it's currently at the 75. I don't even know the names on these, like in the honesty. We got the units where, yeah, okay, it's going all the way from the back. To the front. Wind one is, I guess, the worst one. I didn't even place the fire one in. I think I didn't place the water one. I did place the water one in. But yeah, the fire or the wind one at a 50 tier, I think that's pretty uh, solid over there. It's also funny that we can see here, like, what all of the votes are and have been and that kind of stuff. So it's going to be somewhat of a lengthy process. But it's also kind of a fun process. So if you do this with like a shit ton of people, this is actually pretty funny to do. But so far with the tier list, I would say that these two units are pretty high placed. Uh, this one, I would say, is just bad. Okay, some people are actually valuing some of these units pretty high. Like, that's the thing. Like, the first units you place in a tier list actually make it how high or how low you're gonna place other units. Since there's a bunch of units that I'm not too sure about, like pretty high, well, 60 and 50 are like, th those are relatively low tiers in general, because this is also the jump from 70, 60, and then 50, because with this system, I could only place 10 in there rather than anything. Um, I would say, yeah, the dark one is definitely good. The light one is very weird because it kind of has to set up for himself. So this is the one that, um, 
what's it called? Zephyr used to one shot. It is very interesting, but it's hard to place. And you can also see like the votes are all over the place. Like this is the most well spread vote. How's the Dark 90? Is he that good? I wouldn't say he's that crazy good, but he has potential to be pretty good as a fifth pick. Um, Light Ezio is definitely an interesting unit. I would say 80 is fitting for him. Yeah, you, you have to make a fitting team for a minute. And RTA is a little bit more difficult. We have Ezio. Ezio, I would say, is pretty difficult to fit in because you have the turn order with Ezio where he boosts up the next one and then gives attack bar to the other one. That is mostly something in RTA that feels kind of weird where you're not really sure, like, okay, if they ban a certain unit, what unit comes out, what unit is boosted up and that kind of stuff. I would say 85 is pretty high on this unit. Not too sure about that. Because do you guys see too much water Ezio in RTA actually in the first place? I don't really see him. Like maybe in lower ranks he's there, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Ooh, Dark Cassandra. I think this is one that a lot of people value very high, but it's also one of those units very hard to place in. And the main reason that he is hard to play or she is hard to place in is because she needs two turns to do anything. Like, she can't really go from her own turn and then killing something right away. But 90, that's definitely pretty high for her. Maybe I should give her more of a try myself, but I feel like she's just very hard to fit in because you need to outspeed. And yeah, after that, you need to outspeed and something has to move in front. And at that point, you might as well pull the node in, right? <laughs> so I would say that the fire one, Personally, is stronger. Okay, a lot of people going for hundreds. <laughs> Not sure if it's that strong though, but I would say Fire One is stronger. But this is definitely going to be an interesting tier list because I would say that some of these units are placed in very weirdly already. But that's also the fun part about it. Yeah, that's the Fire One is so strong because of the passive. Like, to be honest, if the Fire One had the speed lead, Fire One would be insanely good. The, uh, the Dark One makes it okay ish good. To have that speed lead, but then again, you have that issue of 21 speed lead. 21 speed lead doesn't do too much. Dark Ivor is a unit we've seen a bunch of time in, um, what's it called, in SWC, but every time it was banned. Okay, interestingly enough, this one is a lot lower voted than I thought you guys would vote it on. But it's also going for 90. A lot of people are actually voting for the 90, the 85, few on the 80. But Dark I4 is also a unit. If you pair Dark I4 with a Dark Cassandra, I think you might have some fun units right there. That's definitely something that could work that I would say like, okay, could be kind of funny. So we're actually going all the units from backwards from release to like uh, like older units. Light I4. Ooh, two votes, three, four, five, six, seven votes on like 100. 195 is very popular for this unit. I would say it's definitely pretty strong. The only issue she has is that she has inconsistent rates on the S1 and S2. But I would say, like, uh, I talked quite some, or quite some, I talked a bit with Bash about her, and he pretty much said that this unit carried him straight to G3. And that was a swift one, of course. But that was definitely an interesting one to see Light Eye for actually shine that well. And he's like, yeah, it's just cutting all the time. Like, And because it's cutting all the time, it actually becomes pretty good. Water Ivor is it's jumping between meme tier and going. A lot of people going for meme tier of 50. Obaba has been trying to make a lot of videos on this unit, trying to showcase it being good. But I, I kind of agree on the 50 tier. Like it, it definitely needs something more to make it shine, kind of. It's not good enough. It's kind of there, but it's not good enough. Let's see what we have coming up next. Oh, wait, is that Xenosec? No, Light is Xenosec, right? I don't even know the name on this. Wait, what does this one do again? Is this one the one that gets the passive attack bar up? It's dark. Like, the water one I know the name of, the Zibala, but dark one? Dark is Xenosec. Oh, really? And we got Osada-san with a raid. Appreciate it, my man. And isn't it like 5 in the morning for you? CP counter? Uh, Light is Kovachi. That's true. Light is Kovachi and this is Xenosec. Uh, guys, if you want to join on this, 
making the tier list, join this and you can vote and that will show up here on screen. It's kind of fun actually. But yeah, this is Kavachi. And so we have Xenosec being placed at 85. Not sure if it's used that much, but Kavachi is going very hard for the meme tier. Like half of the vote, well, more than half of the votes are pretty much a meme tier. That's pretty cool to see. And I definitely do agree. It's also this unit is the weirdest for artifacts because it doesn't have any accuracy check and it doesn't have any crit damage check. So that just makes it super bad, right? We have Smicer being picked up by some SWC players in Europe, quite some. Of course, nice Smicer, but also other people picked it up. But I would say decent to good success, especially into Vanessa because the silence that she provides counters Vanessa passive. Because you counter Vanessa passive by silencing, not by oblivion. So I would say 85 on uh, Smice are definitely uh, worthy to be there. I definitely do agree with you. There's a few units in there, like pretty high up, that I agree a little bit less on, but this one I definitely do agree. <laughs> We got Zima. Uh, Zima has been picked up by a few unit or like a few players. Has that anti, uh, what's it called? Anti heal block? No, anti cleanse. Anti cleanse. That's the thing. Anti cleanse is kind of fun. Oh, uh, Absol's playing with it. It kind of works, but then also kind of totally doesn't. More or less. More or less. Isn't it possible to make it fast? I could do fifteen seconds, but I don't. I think I can change that right now. No, I can't change that right now. Like, I have to change that all the way at the start, so... But I think 15 seconds will be pretty fast as well. What does she do against Hey Gang? I'm actually not sure how that interaction is. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I would say 20 is nice. 20 seconds, like, it's 15 seconds. Uh, or, like, yeah, 15, 30, 45, 60, and then further up. But, yeah, that's... It's quite a bit, like 30 is quite a bit, like I would say 20, 25 would be nice. But I can't select that, too bad. Um, we have uh, Zibala on 90, I'd say 90 is definitely good. Yeah, this is actually like a beta thing for like uh, the tier maker as far as I know. Oh, we have the Dark Cookie. I definitely do think that Dark Cookie is good, but you need pretty good Vio runes on it. Because you kind of want to make it Vio but faster than all of your speedy units. But her base is like 96 or so, or 98, like something terrible. So it makes it somewhat hard. Like perks being, you only need to have accuracy and then some tanky stats. You don't actually need like damage or anything like that, or too much tanky stats. So that makes it a little bit easier if you have those like high rolled fire runes that don't really work anything else. And we have the wind one, Angela, and funny enough, it's showing up a lot on meme tier, but keep in mind that this is the unit with the reflect damage that Timbo made a pretty impressive win with. He tried to use it a little bit in SWC of Europe as well. Didn't really work out that well there, but it was working out a little bit, I would say. I wonder actually with this tier list, does it also matter from left to right? No, I think it just places the newest unit always on the left. So there's not like a high, nine, high 90 or like a low 90. It would be cool with this because it already calculates all of that. Um, but apparently that doesn't do it. That would have uh, something that I normally don't do, but would have been nice in here. We have Lucia, I think. Pretty nice unit into Oliver, but do you guys also feel like Oliver is kind of fading from meta, right? Like, I don't feel the meta is as strong Oliver anymore as it used to be. Like, not, you don't see that many first pick Olivers anymore. Like, sure, it's still kind of there, but you see a lot of units being first pick right now. It's pretty versatile. It's cigar season. Um, I would say that I don't see too many cigars at the moment as well. Like, I do see a decent amount of cigars, but it's not that I see cigar in every match. But yeah, definitely you do see cigars. But you also see Vanessa being picked up for the people that have, like, uh, Vanessa into high damage, single target damage. Uh, you have Hey Gang first picks. You have Oliver first picks. You have more first picks. You have some... Um, what's it called? Shizuka first pick stills. Actually, I have the Perfanilla. Wait, where did it end up? 70, but it's okay-ish there. 
Giselle, pretty interesting unit, I would say. Oh, some people are really liking Giselle. Interesting. I would definitely say at lower ranks, she would be a lot stronger because fighting the invisibility and immunity that she provides, if you don't have enough strippers, and most of the strippers are somewhat more pay to win units, I would definitely say so. As a, a, a Hey Gang spammer, you see Cigar every match. Yeah, fair enough. I can, uh, can understand that. But Giselle on 95, that's definitely very high. Audrey, definitely a unit that would be a lot lower. It's actually not as bad as most people think, but definitely is uh, over 50% in the meme tier. So that's, uh, that's keeping her down in the meme tier, it seems. I would say that she's definitely stronger than Kafachi, but it's not that great of a unit. So I would, I would definitely kind of agree on that one. Yeah, 20 seconds would be nice. Like if I if I can give feedback to these guys, like how long can you make this live tier list? 20 seconds would be a nice number. I have no this one was a mistake to be put in. <laughs> to be honest, this one was on me. I auto RTA with light cookie. Not surprised. Like for autoing arena offense, I would definitely use light cookie. Like, that's absolutely a unit that fits, like, that auto stage kind of stuff that uh, I've been doing from time to time. Wait, I actually still got to do dailies on the main. That's the annoying thing if you play multiple accounts. It's always like, I did dailies right now. Like, you did dailies on the wrong one. I agree. I do dailies on both. Okay, this one was also a mistake to be put in. Straight to the meme tiers with the cookies. Actually, some people were using this. I don't even know the name of this one. What's the name of the, the original one? I see a pattern. No, actually, uh, after this, like we can check all the way at the bottom. Okay, my is kind of plays in. But it's checking everything from the bottom to the top. So there are a few useless-ish units in here. Like, figure's not really picked up. This thing is not really picked up. Uh, Perrin has not really picked up, but there are a few more useless units in there, but most of them are somewhat meta-relevant. Manon is also not used as much anymore, but I would say Manon in lower ranks might still actually be pretty strong. Like a good draft, and then you pick up a Manon final pick into a bunch of AoE. Like, the thing is, it's very heavy on wind meta right now. If it wasn't as strong on wind meta, Manon might actually be more annoying. Like, if the meta is very heavy on fire and AoEs, I would definitely say that she has a spot. Ginger Brave, yeah, that unit is just shit. Like, did, did you guys try to use that unit, man? It doesn't land. Like, if we're talking about units that don't work, this thing doesn't want to land, man. The activation rate is just bad, bad. It's just one of those things, it doesn't work, it's never going to work. It's, it's never landing. What the fuck is trolling with a hundred? I totally expected at least a few people to troll some. So therefore, this tier list, like, people are like possible to troll. Destiny at like 95 and 90. Okay, interesting. Keep in mind it's RTA. I feel like a lot of people are also just picking this like, like not necessarily RTA, but like overall. But that's totally fine as well. But Destiny on 90. I haven't seen that many Destinies in... I feel like everyone, like, I feel like that these are Destiny owners and these are Destiny wanting to have. <laughs> like, Destiny is one of the coolest units in game, but ah, she's so hard to ruin. Like, she's in, like, I tried it on Alucard. Actually, on Alucard's account, I tried it. Yeah, we got Veronica. Veronica, how strong is it? Are we still going for hundreds? We're going for a lot of hundreds. Wait, wait, it's like trolling. <laughs> Marvin, are you here? This is Marvin. <laughs> this or this is Marvin. I know it. <laughs> I 100% know it. Marvin is either over here or over there. <laughs> Marvin, tell me where you're at. No, don't, don't snag me like this. <laughs> no, I would definitely say like 100 to 95 is fair. <laughs> batch from rank one no one knows i feel like this tier list is gonna have a lot of rank ones so sonia definitely i would say sonia is one of the better units in the game right now and i definitely do agree with these numbers like 
I would say probably 95. She's just like such a strong like last pick. Last pick, must ban, like that kind of stuff. Or you pick it earlier like, shit, I haven't seen everything on the draft yet. And still I have to already kind of be sure like, okay, I probably want to ban this. Uh, but the thing is, it also really depends, like, how strong is the enemy Sonya, and how good is the defense that you have, okay? This one was a mistake, this is just mean, probably. But, uh, yeah, it's really depending on, like, how strong is enemy Sonya, like, how fast is it, how much attack ha has it, and do you have, like, a few units that are Sonya counters? Like, for example, Shizuka, I would definitely say Shizuka right now, if you go for defense slot 4 on uh, Shizuka, it's pretty good, probably. Yeah, this thing doesn't do anything for RTA. This is one of the units that I uh, missed out. Yeah, normally I have pretty high defense as well. I think my Praha would be able to survive some stuff as well. Amber, well, and unfortunately... <laughs> wait, Amber is all over the place for people. Amber in RTA is just weird. Wait, where did she even go? Oh, Amber is actually still mainly a meme there. Funny enough, like how this thing calculates... Is it calculating average or is it calculating just the, the main? No, it's not calculating average. It's just calculating the um, highest number being voted, I guess. It would be better if this thing actually went for a uh, average. So if this is voted, she would end up like 60. I think that's more valuable than just the highest amount of one tier winning. Or ginger, but we got a bunch of units in the meme tier already. I think I added all LDs in this one, so it has a bunch more units that I normally don't place in the tier list. Yeah, it has like a whole bunch of them, <laughs> like even Maya's in here. Oh, that was ready for the meme tier as well. But Ritsu is also a meme tier food. Ritsu by Kit is actually pretty strong. Why is Light Eye for that good? It takes a lot of turns, it interrupts a lot of stuff. Oh, we got Shun uh, jumping all over the place. A lot of people putting Sean on 90. How come? Yeah, uh, Sean is a pretty indecisive one. We, we see a lot of votes like all over the place. Like that, this is where like averages of the tier list would make more sense because it's pretty close between 90, 60 and meme tier. <laughs> like that, those are pretty big gaps. Sean has the funniest S2 in the game. I'm, I don't know, man. is it that good? Like I feel like the 60 kind of fit him, fits him maybe. Shun is getting siege votes? Maybe so, maybe so. Zen, I haven't seen this unit used in RTA ever. Like, this is one of those units that get like 16 buffs, and at some point there's this one buff and that's gonna make him like a widget. Like, I'm so sure that's gonna happen with Zen, because that's kind of the same thing they did with Oliver. Like, three, four buffs and every time like, eh, yeah, yeah, and then suddenly speed lead, okay, never mind, now he's good. <laughs> Yeah, Shun is one of those units. It's also with a lot of uh, units that I would say uh, it feels very strong if you don't have it. But if you do have it, you're like, no, this is actually terrible. Ren is actually not that bad. Like, Ren base speed on 120, you could make it a swift trap kind of unit. Like, for example, uh, would it work? I'm not entirely sure. If you swift trap with a Ren... Would you be able to swift trap and do something to a Sonya? Could be a thing. I'm not entirely sure. But I would still say meme tier or 50 is probably yeah, true. Minato is always one of those units I feel like can be pretty strong. But once again, we're fighting this wind heavy meta kind of thing, which makes him a little bit worse. But Minato has been getting a few buffs here and there as well. The only thing is, like, I would really like him to make him 100 res. How do you vote? Uh, you can join this link. If you join this link, you don't have to make an account, apparently, and you can just start voting right away. But Minato feels strong, but definitely not 90 strong, I would say. <laughs> Never same rank as Sonya. No, don't think so. Maximilian? I think Maximilian will end up at 100. I still say Maximilian is somewhat overrated to the point where you need, like, any Maximilian 
abuser that works it out very well as multiple LB5s. Like without multiple LB5s, using Maximilian is pretty difficult. But Maximilian is just cool as fuck. Like that's that's just that. That's <laughs> no no one's gonna complain about that. But would it be a hundred tier? Not entirely sure. Like yeah, Abelio hard count is it. Uh, you just like the thing is you need two speed leads, two outspeed units, two AOE strippers, and then two damage dealers. Plus Maximilian. How are you gonna fit that in like five units? That's difficult. But yeah, it is a speed lead with like super high damage, which is definitely nice. Dominic, 85. Well, pretty high for Dominic. I use Maxi for my CC Cleave. Yeah, that's the thing. Like CC Cleave, it's pretty nice, but it's still also somewhat hard. But I would say that Abelio kind of uh, fucks up Maximilian's uh, pretty hard. Carlos. So we had Dom at the 85. Carlos? What is, uh, I feel like Carlos was pretty strong in the Nana meta. Carlos was, I think, also made to, um, what's it called, to counter the Nana meta, but I feel like that Carlos is not as good anymore. Like, do you guys often pick Carlos still? Like, for me personally, I barely pick him, like, ever. It's also, Carlos is one of those hard units to say, like, okay, uh, when do you go to tanky, when do you have too little damage, that kind of stuff, or Bob will use him. Obabo used a lot of stuff for content. That doesn't necessarily make a unit good or bad. <laughs> like, I wouldn't expect a lot of people to be picking up Liam and that kind of stuff. Once Sonya kills something, that is fair. That is definitely fair. Like, with Sonya killing something and then... But then the thing is, like, if you have those two on the field, you need to have, like, a pretty strong draft around that to not have one of the two banned. Like, that's the big issue with a lot of these units in RTA. Like, in arena offense, it works because you know what the draft will look like. You know what the 4v4 is going to be at. In RTA, units like Carlos becomes more difficult because you don't exactly know the 4v4. And yeah, we have Maya and the meme tier and Ella going straight after that as well. I would say Ella's slightly better. It has some usability, but Ella kind of deserves a meme tier as well. It is uh, absolutely not that great as a unit. You're not gonna lie. <laughs> She's Yeln Hong from Wish. I, I wish it was a Yeln Hong. Well, I don't have neither, so I, I don't care about it. No, I wish it was not a Yeon Hong. I don't like playing into Yeon Hongs. Strong unit. Give me a Yeon Hong. Riley. Riley is definitely still strong. Well, I've been using quite some Riley the last few days in RTA, and I reset it back to my old setup where I don't use Riley. <laughs> Like, Riley is nice and all, but it just doesn't really fit my playstyle all too much. Like it's nice, it's decent, but I also feel like often it's not doing enough. Like, Riley definitely fits if you have a strong turn 2 comp, like, overall. Riley 90, that's definitely pretty high. Well, 90 and 85 were on the same level for that one. Nora, we don't really see Nora's that much. Riley enemy has 200 dress and procs every turn. Uh, that's definitely true. That is absolutely definitely true. Nora goes kind of all over the place as well. Ending up at 70? 70 or 80? Nora, yeah, Nora is great for Siege, but Nora you don't see too much. At some point, people were actually using Nora into the AoE units for Wind. But yeah, Juno and Vero are definitely very strong right now. Those are units that everyone's picking up a lot. And then, <laughs> yeah, Nora becomes free love. Alaya, interestingly enough, with the Feng Yang buffs, like this is a unit that's really spread like all over the place. I was actually thinking about building an Alaya as well, because I would say that where I do damage, I could maybe use a defense buff more than I could use like the kit of a Riley. Like, Alaya is definitely an interesting unit, because defense buff is 70%. Like, units are not going to land jack shit. Plus the healing over time. Like, what's stronger? Healing over time or, like, healing instantly? I don't know. Dark Robo. I expect this one to be high, and... I would say Dark Robo is mainly strong for Han users, Maximilian users. Like, without being a Maximilian or a Han user, Dark Robo becomes less interesting. 
double stun Riley with a bank clip. Yeah, that would be nice if uh, he decides to land his shit most of the time. Which is also not really the case. Dark Robo 95. It's definitely strong. That is definitely a high one over there. Wind Robo. I expect a little bit lower. Around same-ish, but lower. I would say that Wind Robo is also slightly getting out of meta more this season than previous season. What's the difference? What would you guys say is the difference for you seeing less Robos? I would say Hagen being countered by something else might make Wind Robo a little bit less dominantly picked. More Nam Robos? could be i'm not sure like for example europe swc we didn't see any robo right neither dark nor wind i think yeah it's not that consistent that's definitely a thing fire cookie true a lot more people are picking up fire cookie that's definitely that could be a thing yeah but fire cookies or a fire robo's weird so i do agree so uh but i don't know if i'm not sure Yeah, Fire Robo's just nice into Antares, Diana, and Gianna. That's about it. Like, those three units, he counters it. If it, But he's also one of those units. If he despair stuns a lot, he's super strong. If he doesn't despair stun, he's shit. And there's pretty much no in-between. Well, I'm very curious what you guys think about this one. Yeah, it's very spread out. Like, you have some people in 100. You have some people in meme tier. I would say 85 is kind of a fair assumption. It's... it's um. Jackson is really one of those units. It has to counter two or more units on the enemy side. And maybe like maybe amplify one on your side, but that's not even the important side. You have to count at least two units on the enemy side. And then uh Jackson becomes good. If you don't do that, then he's not great. I rarely see him in RTA. Yeah, that's the thing. Like you have to draft like against more Chung Pong users, it's pretty strong. But otherwise, not really. Daniel, I would say. Hmm, let's see. Daniel goes very hard on the meme tier, and Daniel goes very hard on the 90. This thing should really calculate and then put the average. Like, I think the average of all of the votes and then putting this towards, like, 75 or 80 would make a lot more sense than him putting it in 90 right now. But th th this tier list uh, life thing can uh, use some tweaks, but definitely still pretty cool to see. But 90, uh, I would say, like, 80 is probably fair for him. Daniel is pretty strong. But you need a very specific comp for him. But he's also kind of like FIFA Chell. It's very strong. Oliver. Does Oliver still go to 100? Or does he go 95? We have some winners on 95 so far. <laughs> meme tier. <laughs> Who the fuck is putting Oliver in meme tier, bro? <laughs> I, I feel like 95. I, I, I feel that's very fair. We got a well-educated chat here that understands. Oliver is strong. Oliver is annoying. But Oliver is not as crazy as it used to be. Like, Oliver is, like, three nerves down from, like, super crazy. Well, maybe just one or two. John. Interesting bomber, but... Wait, is he actually getting the meme tier? John is not that bad. John as a last pick is actually pretty nice. We got KGE Reckless with the tier 1 or 2 months. Appreciate it. I would definitely say John deserves more than Meme Tier. Yep, 75, guys. Do we got more than 75? We got Dookie with the Raider. Welcome, everyone, from Dookie. Yeah, I would say John is kind of underrated. John is somewhat like a Rika. But then, different interaction because it also has that cool time increase. And the cool time increase on the S3 is something that people forget on the John. We have Miles. Miles coming in. Miles is definitely a unit, like 195, I would say, I would say 95, 90 probably, but Miles is, he's annoying, that, that's the main thing. Tier list, pop, yeah, you, uh, Dookie, you can actually join the tier list. So this is the tier list by the chat, not a tier list by me, but tier list by chat. But yeah, Miles has that, I would say Miles is more an annoying factor than a real good factor, because Miles is actually one of the lower win rate units, but he's really one of those units like, ah... Uh, if it proc 60 times, it's annoying as fuck. I would say that Miles in lower ranks, like my alt can make a Miles on 140 speed. That Miles would do 
so much damage in like fucking C1 that it's ridiculous. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. They should make a pre-band where you can always pre-select a pre-band like we have in Chronicles. You can pre-select a pre-band and then you go into the match and it shows like, okay, I pre-band this unit and then you start pick and banning. I would love that for this game as well. Because then everyone has that one unit he just doesn't want to play against. I have that with Shizuka. Like it's not a great unit, but I just don't want to play against because it's like super annoying to play if it's constantly proccing. And a lot of people have that with like Oliver's or Miles or anything like that. And it's just super strong. Dominic pre-nerf. Yeah, but actually Dominic needed good runes to do a lot of damage. Miles just needs to be fast. <laughs> That's the stupid part. Like, if you have good runes on Miles, it's still the same. But we actually have Kiki on the 85, pretty high for like how many Junos and Pharaohs you have these days. Coco is dropped in the meme tier. Ah, Coco strong. I've been showcasing some Coco Leo counters. Coco stronger than that. Nana, <laughs> Nana's also like, man, back in the days, Nana revive on like 60% HP. Like, fucking hell, man. That was just some nutty bullshit back then. Currently being down to 10%. What is it? 20%? Something like that. I think that's fine. Yeah, House, you can actually join the tier list. If you go to this link, you can vote the tier list and it shows up in here. It's just, uh, some of their day after nerf. Ah, that's too bad. But I would definitely say she is still strong. Wait, who the hell's putting on Yuki in meme tier? What the fuck, guys? <laughs> Someone doesn't like the current nerf. <laughs> Someone does not like the current nerf on Ong Yuki. I would say 90 is probably fun, but we've seen the one from Lufia and also Tutu. Ong Yuki is still very strong. Technology, technology is here. Yes, exactly. Man, what? A, how can I not say technology? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's here, but it could use a few tweaks, but it's definitely pretty cool for like a tryout on the, this kind of stuff. Ong Yuki ends up at 90. I would say, I would agree. I would say Ong Yuki probably fits better on 95, but I would say Ong Yuki needs good runes to shine. Kinky, how well are people good at countering Kinky's? Uh, say the 85 is probably kind of there. Do you guys remember the life here of Vanilla got nerfed before she came out? A few units do have that, but Light Pure Vanilla, I'm not even sure if that was like a legitimate nerf. Do you guys remember that Wu Young was supposed to ignore defense on skill 3 and they nerfed that? Imagine Wu Young speed lead, speed buff. Or, uh, yeah, speed lead, attack buff, increasing attack bar, and ignore defense on skill 3. Yo, that <laughs> Yo I'm happy they nerfed that. But we have uh, Kingi on the 85. Kaki though, Kaki's very well spread on like all of those votes. Yeah, this is once again where it would be cool where it takes an average rather than just throwing it in the number of the highest. But I would say Kaki in lower ranks in RTA probably has been stronger. She did do that before. No, it was actually in the patch note that she was supposed to ignore defense on the skill 3, but then they reverted that before it actually was released. Bring back the old Tablo? Oh, hell no. Like, bring back old Iris. Oh, hell no. Sweetie, though. Where do we see Sweetie? 85s. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Thanks for the help for the free to play team on Necro. Yes. That one is pretty nice. Uh, my Giants team is like 99 on the team that I uh, used. Old Tablo would be so OP. Yeah. Yeah, if we're talking like old metas, old Tablo. Ugh. Ugh, that, that shit was nasty. But old Iris, I don't know exactly what she did anymore, but that was nasty as fuck. Like, the very first meta that we had in RTA was actually Tablo and Iris. If you had those two units, you were G3, like, instantly. Oh, true. Kraka was also, like, supposed to be, like, super OP, and they nerfed it down. We have Dumon. Dumon going 90. I do agree with Dumon 90. Yeah, Duman is very good into specific things. Like, I would say that Madrimdi is over-spamming him, or her. I would say that Obaba uses her too little. But if you use her at good moments, definitely very strong. Seime is strong, but also the most boring unit in the game. Liri here as one does nothing, and her S2 does nothing until she something dies. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> That's just stupid. This is literally, like, if I could trade LD5 for a random LD5, she would be the first on the, my chopping block. I would say that Songshang La would be second, but Seimei would be first. Just because she has no gameplay. <laughs> like, absolutely nothing. But she ends up at 90. Giyu. Giyu is definitely one of those... Uh, Dark Monkey is so much worse. At least I can put Dark Monkey in Siege Defense. It's bad for Siege Defense, but at least I can use it. <laughs> I think Seimei is probably my least use LD net 5. Well, if I don't include defense, like if I purely look at offense, I would say my least used LD5 is probably Nikong, but it's more of a defense unit anyways. Giyu, Giyu in 85. Giyu is just very strong if it despair stuns a lot. If she doesn't despair stun, she just becomes trash. Yeah, I'm not sure if Dark Monkey, even if you give Dark Monkey 100% activation rate, I am not 100% sure if he would become super strong. Like, I think he would be pretty strong, but he still lacks damage. Like, the thing is, his whole kit doesn't make any sense for dealing damage. Like, his S3 is scaling from attack and HP. The S2 is just attack, and the S1 is just attack. And then his base attack is like 600 nothing. Like, that's just terrible. What do you think? Is there a ragdoll tier list right now? Well, we shall see in a second. So we have Tomoe. Tomoe being placed 90. Ooh, wow, that's actually pretty high. Tomoe on 90 is definitely high. We see a lot of units being placed in 90. Shizuka, still an annoying unit. Even though that she... Uh, definitely the nerf where her S2 doesn't reduce cool time hit her hard. We saw the whole bunch of times in SWC. It's like, oh, he uses S2, it can do something right now, and doesn't have the skill. 300 viewers, but only 50 voters. Yeah, guys. We need more people to vote. If you want to participate, join the voting. It is free. Lulu. Oh, wait. This is this one's still in there. I would say lower ranks Lulu might even not that be that bad. I'm not even sure. What made Lulu getting... What was the Lulu nerf? I'm at work. Ah, oh, that's too bad. <laughs> what was the Lulu nerf again that made her get rid of RTA? S2CD? Wait, was S2CD one higher? Jeez. Yeah, I guess it could be that. Could be that. Riley. Yeah, maybe the coming up of Riley also. Because Riley kind of does what Lulu was supposed to do, but yeah, I guess so. Gurkha. Wait, does he go meme? <laughs> Gurkha's not that bad. I remember Lulu was better than Water Archangel. I would still say Lulu is better than Water Archangel. Like, how often do you use Ariel compared to how often do you use Lulu? Well, it's also well even in that even in that five siege. Let, let's look solely at net five siege. You're still using more Lulus in offense than you're using Ariels, right? At least I am. Like, I think my Ariel's not even skilled up in all honesty. Like, I'm pretty confident in that, that I can say that my aerial is not skilled up. <laughs> like, I never use that shit. Wait, where did Gurkha get placed? Gurkha still got the meme tier. We have uh, Greg. It's actually only used a lot by Jin Yao and maybe a few other cleavers. But the only one that's, like, high, high ranked that I know uses it, uh, Greg, that is Jin Yao. Lulu Mela wasn't shit fast, I agree. But I would say that Shizuka is kind of like on similar point. Like, oh, you proc once, you win. Like, just that. The only difference is Lulu could do that with pretty much every turn she had. Shizuka uh, can be reset more, I guess. We have Cigar. Cigar is definitely uh, high in meta right now. And this tier list is also definitely representing it. It's still one of those units. Actually, both of them. Like, both Cigar and Shizuka are units that just never looked, or, like, never worked for me. Like, I, I gave Cigar, like, a 190 Vio set on, like, plus close to 35k HP and all kinds of weird shenanigans. Units still didn't work for me. <laughs> Maybe I just don't know how to draft. Could be a thing as well. But that's just one of those units that just doesn't work for me. Shizuka, same thing, because Shizuka, you need that RNG to proc out. <laughs> if you proc out, you're good, Chief. If you don't proc out, 
Shizuka is not that great. Like, sure, there's certain drafts where Shizuka doesn't need to proc to actually win, but I don't know. How is Kiki so high? Uh, because the majority of people voted for it. <laughs> That's the only argument I can give for any placement on anywhere on this tier list. <laughs> Cigar is like the Yasuo meme. Yeah, that, that feels very fitting for the people that know League of Legends. Yes. Carnal 90, that's definitely still high. I was actually thinking about maybe just ruining up like an insanely strong Carnal. Like I could do probably a pretty nasty crit damage Carnal, like let's say 280 speed, full on crit damage and like 85 crit rate, something like that. Accuracy is probably going to be lacking, but it's something that could be interesting. Yeah, we, we don't want uh, Ken. This is Ken, by the way, for the people that don't know it. I think most people know it by now. But uh, Ken, the, we have Coco in the meme tier as well. So the, the Leo counters that I use are all in meme tier. Well, if someone kind of deserves meme tier. Well, people actually like Van Cliff. I feel like that these are all voters of people that don't have Van Cliff. <laughs> Do you guys agree that Van Cliff kind of... Like, besides all of the buffs that it has right now, Van Cliff was supposed to have the speed lead. Like, if you put speed lead to him right now, he's gonna be crazy. I actually kind of agree on the 7. And we got a gifter from Reckless to Dookie. Appreciate it. Yeah, the thing is, he really has issue with landing shit. Like, if he were to land stuff properly, it would be strong. Okay, let's see how many people... <laughs> These people do not have Douglas counters. <laughs> We have a lot of people that don't have Douglas counters. <laughs> like, Douglas is strong, but if you just ban him at the right moment, if you just counter him at the right moment, he's okay. <laughs> but if you have a draft that completely gets fucked by Douglas all the time, yeah, then he feels like a hundred. But that's also where I would say having that pre-ban in would be insanely nice. Because then you could say, like, okay, my whole draft is countered by a Leo or a Miles or a Douglas. Therefore, I ban this specific unit because I just don't want to play into it. Okay, we have the more coming in. More 95? I feel like it's fitting for, like, next to the other units, it's two. And we got the house TV with that primer second month. I appreciate it. Yeah, more everyone kind of agrees on like how strong a more is. Juno, Hey Gang, Third, Rakunia, Fight. Yeah, it really depends on like what kind of uh, what kind of draft you have. They nerfed Ragdoll when uh, three, four times already. They nerfed Ragdoll a bunch of times. Mainly on the passive every time, or just the passive every time. Mukwo. It's one of those units a lot of people tell me. It's like, yeah, he's so strong, has so much potential. And then I see him being used and I'm like, mm, I kind of agree on meme there. <laughs> yeah, last Ragnar nerf was quite a while back. That's true. I think Ragnar is in a decent spot right now. There's a lot of Ragnar owners saying Ragnar is absolutely trashed. But I still feel like Ragnar is pretty strong. Next up, Chung Pung. Chung Pung, 95. I would say so. For like the trend that we have, like all of these units that are somewhat meta relevant, kind of seem to end up here, like 90, 95. Makes sense. Yeah, Ragdoll used to be 20. And there used to be, like it used to be 20, no reflect. And you used to have like the crit rate bug. So, units were counted double for our crit rating. So, that was your crit You were critting all the fucking time. Joe Gun. Not a unit you see all too much, but you see from time to time. Yeah, it was just the first hit. So, the, the first hit of AoE, and then also the first hit of Multi. 
but still then it does mean that if you have like a support doing an AoE skill, it's very likely something would crit. Hey gang is 100 for sure. I'm pretty sure Hey gang will end up there, yeah. I'm pretty sure Hey gang will end up there. So for the people that join in later, you can join making this tier list and your vote matters. The best CC and stun. <laughs> Wait, he's not supposed to stun. <laughs> I would say that the despair uh, buff makes Hey Gang even way stronger. Like if that wasn't there, Hey Gang wouldn't have been as strong as it is right now. But I would say because of the uh, Sonya that's currently very strong. Sonya is only ninety, but still only. Yeah, I'm not sure why this one was in. <laughs> Ignore this one. But I would say that because of Cigar and Sonya, it makes Hey Gang a bit worse. Why is the Dark Bird in there? Wait, I can skip things, right? If I say skip... It just skips one, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm able to skip. Sienna. Sienna is also one of those units that the people that don't have her say like she's so good. No, she's garbage. Like, she's pretty much Masha, but no passive. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Masha is strong because of the passive. The S3, like the moment S3 goes scaling from speed, she becomes instantly good. But until then, she's not really going to do anything. Narsha, I would say Narsha is pretty strong. Yeah, the silence is not that great. It's also one turn silence and it's 50%. Like, it's it's all of those kind of odds that you're like, e, e, uh. Like, to be honest, if it did anything else but silence, because I have, uh, what's it called? Like, the Sienna combination with um, Nefties is pretty nice. Remember the Narsha that one shot you? Yeah. Like, Narsha is pretty nice, definitely. I think Narsha is definitely still a pretty nice unit. But you need good runes to make Narsha work. But 90... Mm, would say so. Savannah. It used to be a Savannah meta. Like, do you guys remember when we literally had, like, a Savannah meta? What were the Savannah nerfs? Like, she had, like, one or two nerfs that made it worse. Like, of course, she had, like, the thing with all of the Beast Riders. All of the Beast Riders were nerfed. But what was the nerf that made Savannah, kind of? 75 attack bar to 100. Ah, okay. Yep. Could be. Could be. Oh, it was to zero. It was not even a hundred. I think it was to zero. Yeah, fuck that strong. Damn, to zero. That's really nasty. Marsha, definitely not as strong anymore as it used to be, but still pretty strong unit throughout. Like, do you guys remember that Marsha was actually the worst beast rider on release? Like, she didn't do anything. She just had like the critical link skill and then her uh, passive didn't do anything. Like it didn't strip, it didn't armor break or something. Or just did one of the two. I think it just uh, armor broke. But this one turn armor break. One turn armor break is always kind of like uh, iffy. But it didn't strip, I think. But Marshall 90, I think it's fair. Barbara. Do you guys remember Barbara on release? Like, on re like I think she was the very first one to get nerfed. But Barbara on released the skill 3 that ignored defense the moment you had 3 buffs stripped. <laughs> Plus, the moment that she got killed, she was like uh, dismounted without debuffs. Barbara's like crazy on fucking release. Still say she has some usage here and there. She might be like a nice Juno counter. But I feel like that there's other units that do kind of similar. She also had the crit rate bug. Uh, true, but not true, because the second hit of the crit rate bug was counted as normal. So it's only the first hit that would actually count higher. Vigor was meta for once. True. True. That's a long time ago, though. But Vigor was actually picked in RTA back in the days. But there were a lot more free-to-play units uh, picked back in the days. Currently, there's a lot of units that... 
Like, it's a very... It, it's not a super heavy LD meta. Wait, Bills above to 100? <laughs> you guys, what? <laughs> Bills above is getting hundreds and it's getting as many memes. <laughs> Let's say 85, maybe. The big issue with Belzebub is Belzebub doesn't get the instant turn. The friend Mina meta. Ugh. That was some nasty shit. Like, do you guys remember Fran when the S1 stunned and everyone put it on revenge? That your AoE immunity attack buffer and healer and S2 cleanser also revenge stunned when you wanted to hit it. It was so fucking ridiculous, man. Imagine if they added artifacts back at that time. I actually, Mina was one of the uh, key units for me to get Legend in Special League. I was using a lot of Mina. And that was 20 star. Mephisto also had its shining for a little bit in the Nana meta, but since you see a lot less Nana, you also don't see that much usage for uh, this. What do you think about a buff for Artemil? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, Artemil is one of those units, the moment he stuns a lot, he's very strong. If he doesn't stun at all, he's just fucked. If you give Artemil something that every other turn, he cannot be stunned. So let's say that... Artemil gets like this kind of spell shield against a stun and then he needs to take two turns to get that spell shield back. I think that would make Artemil very strong because Artemil right now is super hard counted by getting stunned because if he's stunned he cannot go for the counters he cannot stun himself. But if he has something like a spell shield kind of skill it would be nice. Bella 95 definitely agree. Bella needs good runes but Bella definitely would be nice. Like Minato, yes sir, or something like Minato. Yeah, actually that's pretty much like Minato. <laughs> I haven't even thought about it like that, but yeah, more or less. Like, just something to prevent him from getting stunned in any kind of way. Geltnir. I would... Uh, Geltnir was somewhat used at a little moment. The moment that Masha came up, like, Masha and Juno giving, like, constant buffs. And then Geltnir just giving constant healing. But... Since Masha's not as good anymore, it's kind of worse, I would say. Arda was nerfed through artifacts because of add damage. True, true. Like, sure, the, the, he has some extra counter damage that you put on Arda, which is not bad, but he's harder countered than it's helping him. Yeah, I would agree. Wolverick. Wolverick in a nice draft is still pretty strong. Unless you have an enemy Camilla against you that's procs all the time and actually still kills your units. <laughs> But yeah, Bolfrick is definitely not bad. But Arda on release, like Arda for the first few years was strong as fuck. Thor or Peter. Reason Camilla PTSD or yeah, something like that. Normally, I don't really struggle with uh, Camillas that much. Well, in arena offense, that's why you struggle. That's what everyone struggles with uh, Camilla, unless you have a Hanwu or an Yuki, I guess. Tars insane during the Hathor meta. Well, actually, uh, a few players told me that it's very strong into Hey Gang as well. So, Patar at 90 might be a little bit high, but I definitely do still think that Patar is pretty uh, nice. Like, if it properly works into Hey Gang, it would be nice. Meme only for Siege Monsters. No, meme is just for whatever units of shit. <laughs> and I put in a few units that I was like, whoops, those are not really meta relevant that much. Volantis on a 95. I would agree, would agree. We have... Over 4,000 voters right now and like 140 different participants that at least joined for a second. It's pretty cool. If more people want to join, that's what you can do. Actually, a lot of the Leo counters end up on meme tier. So this is a strong Leo counter of mine. This is, used to be a Leo counter of mine. Uh, but we actually see Balin is going to 80. Bigger's meme, yeah. Snail Cleave. 
I would say Melanist might actually not be that bad with like a NAF display. It's just hard to get into play like fully. Abelio though. Abelio is definitely strong. My Leo counters FIFA Chell. Give me a fucking FIFA Chell. I feel like FIFA Chell is so strong. It's such a dangerous unit all the time. Like all the time it's like, okay, that third skill is like, fuck. Abelio, yeah, Abelio is definitely, like, I'm pretty sure that these four are cleavers. Like, all four of them, those are cleave people. 100% sure, nothing else in there, cleave people, because otherwise you don't put it like this. <laughs> but, yeah, definitely Abelio is very strong. Herny is one of those units that I would say is not that bad, but... It has to have like an irresistible skill three. Or at least a non-glancing skill three. Because the fact that her skill three can glance and therefore not land on like Leos and that kind of shit makes her pretty bad. But if her skill three was more consistent on landing, I think Herny would literally be like a pretty legit unit. I got 3x15 today. Oh, I, I, I had a few of those. I had a few of those today, yeah. Glancing on Douglas? Yeah, that kind of shit. <laughs> that kind of shit. Leona. We don't see too many Leonas these days. Except, of course, Leovert. But definitely still an interesting unit on like the last pick. Four and fifth pick. Definitely a unit that could be pretty strong. But also somewhat hard counted by additional damage artifacts. I would say 90 is maybe a little bit high. But okay. I would say 85 may be fitting a little bit better. Ophelia, definitely not a unit you see too much. There was actually this one player like way back. We're talking like five years back. I think it was called Legacy something. And he was always picking Vert, Sierra and Ophelia. And then together with like two single target strippers. And the team was actually annoying as fuck. Because a lot of the... Uh, it made a lot of sense. Because Ophelia provides a buff or a protection towards Sierra. That is hard to protect. Because immunity she would just shake off by just dropping bombs. But because of Ophelia threat state. Actually the protection stayed on the Sierra. Which was back in the days pretty interesting. Josie is 100 if she procs. I agree. If Josephine procs every single fucking turn she has, she's pretty close to 100. Still, you can draft her in every match then still, but she becomes that uh, annoying factor. Yeah, absolutely. I think 85 kind of fits her. Alexandra. I feel like that this is also a unit that's all over the place. And we can also see that in the votes over here. Like, Alexandra's going pretty much all over the place between, like, meme, 90s, 85, 80s. I definitely do think that Alexandra as a late pick is insanely strong. And I think that the people putting her in meme tier are definitely undervaluing her. Like, sure, you can't spam her. She's not spammable. But in late picks, definitely strong. Uh, there we have Viva Chell. Let's see where Viva Chell ends up in here. 95. Whoa, a lot of votes on 95s. Well, we do see a lot more people these days picking Viva Chells early, right? Like second pick, third pick, Viva Chell. And the thing is with Viva Chell, like back in the days, it always felt like, oh, with Viva Chell, you have to Leo. Or with Viva Chell, you have to Leo Ragdoll even. These days, I feel like a lot of... Uh, Viva Gel picks is just like more Viva Gel. Let's go. All of her Viva Gel works. And yeah, that definitely is pretty strong. Or even Viva Gel Shizuka, that kind of weird stuff. Definitely strong. Viva Gel 95, I'm not sure if I would classify it that strong, but would definitely say it's pretty strong. I had PTSD against this pony today. My third double non credit because there was this pony on the field. <laughs> like, these rates are supposed to be low. <laughs> like, this unit is supposed to be a meme. 
this unit is not supposed to do her shit. Now this one was like, nope, nah, uh, nope. We're actually going to fuck you up right here. And she did. And she did. I don't know it's awesome. I'm not sure if I would classify it as awesome, but can be used here and there. Celia is actually a unit we see more and more on Siege Defense. Like for RTA, still not there. But Siege Defense? Definitely would say that is a unit that's becoming more prominent. And that's also because a lot of the defense or like a lot of the offenses are rotating around like Windies and that kind of stuff. Windy into a Celia, you can do it, but it's not always the best option. And that just makes it a little bit harder to draft. Celia should get back the 100% activation rate. Yeah, maybe so. Base speed is definitely very high. Yeah, you can make it like a trap defense pretty easy on Swift. Tableau 90. We don't see too many Tableaus these days in RTA anymore. At least I don't. I feel like that Tableau is somewhat replaced by Shizuka. Like, normally people that were playing Jemaier Tableau are now playing Jemaier Shizuka. Half of the tier list is going to be in 90. Yeah, I would say, like, that's the thing, like, how you start off a tier list. And that's also what makes making a tier list pretty difficult. Your first few units really determine whether the units that come after that are higher, lower, or same. And because of that, like, the first few units were placed pretty high. Because they were actually, like... The units at the back, those were placed first. Um, because those were very high placed, everything is kind of high placed. And the 75 and the 70 tier is nearly untouched. <laughs> or even the 60 tier, because a lot of these units, like Ezio and 85 doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> like, no way, it's not that great. Well, we have Diana going 85 as well, next to Ezio. Yeah. Triana actually used to be meta for our normal RTA as well. <laughs> we always have that one troll throwing it in or a hundred. <laughs> I'm very happy that most of you guys are not trolling though. Like the moment that I saw this, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. But this is also something people could so badly troll on though. <laughs> Before artifacts was a meta? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she doesn't have too bad damage on her uh, skill one. Hey, Lena. Oh, more Leo counters. Leo counters go in the meme tier. Oh, no. Leo counters go in the 60 tier. Vanessa, no good. Uh, Vanessa's not... Yeah, Vanessa's all the way at the end, pretty much. But Vanessa is definitely strong at the moment. Yeah, 60. I would agree with 60. Maybe even say like a little bit higher. But not bad of a uh, Leo counter. But it's only a Leo counter if the enemy doesn't really have too many controls. That kind of stuff. Lover into water in Siege. We actually use her in a few offenses as well. It's pretty good unit with Leo together as well. Like if you go Leo, Helena plus like Sean, which was an old like Siege offense. Definitely strong. Amelia is probably not really that much of a... Uh, Unit all too much now. Still some 60s though. Actually, Amelia used to be my uh, draft back in 2018 was Ciara Gianna, Amelia Bolvrick plus one. That was my most common draft for like 2000 matches uh, back in 2019. It was a pretty weird. Oh no, wait. It was actually the plus one was mostly Hathor. That was actually, I was first picking Hathor into Sierra Gianna, Amelia Bolfrey. Those five were my most picked units. That was actually a very interesting season. Back in the Hathor days. And I didn't have Ganny, so I couldn't get any Hathor. We have Mi Ying, and I would definitely say Mi Ying 85. Yeah, it would fit. Like, looking at the, what the rest is at 85, definitely strong.
Dia Lang, well, I think <laughs> I think we kind of all agree on Dia. <laughs> Wait, this is the most agreeable unit we have seen so far. Like from the other hundreds, this is by far the most agreeable hundred tier that we have seen. Would that also mean that Tian Lang is strongest unit in the game right now? I would. He, he's not spammable though. Like you can't use him in everything. Wajet, Wajet is kind of nerfed. Like Laura's kind of nerfed. Wajet kind of nerfed. Tian Lang's still up there. I don't know. Like Tian Lang is definitely fitting that hundred tier. We're gonna have like four or five more units hundred tier probably. Tian Lang got nerfed too. Tian Lang got nerfed and then buffed. Yeah, Tian Lang, I would absolutely love Tian Lang. It's so strong. Plus Tian Lang, like S1, S2, like S1 armor break into S2. We, we've seen the damage from like the Tian Lang of True Will. Of course, it's probably one of the best Tian Langs, if not the best Tian Lang in the whole game. But that Tian Lang on armor break was doing S2. Like, did you see the team of Spires just evaporate for just going S1, S2? Like, what? It was just so strong. What's up, Yamato? How are you doing? Uh, we have the Feng Yang bling place at 90. Feng Yang is definitely strong right now. No, it is. <laughs> Fuck you, people. Wait. <laughs> hey, it's not me. It's not me. It's not... Two people put it in meme, though. <laughs> Apparently, people don't like to play into Raccoon. That, that's the thing. Okay, okay, we we got to like 27. <laughs> if you want to participate in this voting, man, that's okay. That's an interesting Raccoon at 100 tier. Raccoon is gonna get a nerf, boys. Raccoon is absolutely gonna get a nerf. <laughs> Amazing one over there. Mo Long, 85. Seems like it. Well, seems like it, kind of. Three star, by the way. Yeah, look at the three star next to like all kinds of LB5s and shit. <laughs> I still blame you for what you had. I don't blame you for shit. I do not have the power to nerf or buff units. Raccoon, you overrated. <laughs> seems like it. <laughs> It's funny how this one is also like 85 or meme. I would say that this is the moment where his passive works, and this is the moment where it doesn't. Tell that to your Lima. Okay, maybe I can take credit for Lima being nerfed, but that is maybe about it. No, I think Lima got nerfed because I 1v7 Duchon. And yes, 1v7, he had none on three stacks and I still won. I don't have that one on record though, like I should have. But yeah, he had, uh, I think it was Onyuki, um, Onyuki, Ragdoll, Nana, and one more. And my Lima just soloed him <laughs> because of triple revenge and getting like the skill three up at right moments. Oberon. Yeah, Oberon is uh, definitely the Shizuka nerf hit Oberon very hard. I would definitely say so. 90, not entirely sure. I would say 85, maybe more, but... Definitely the Shizuka nerf was uh, very strong on Oberon. Ganymede. Good old Ganymede. Used to be 100 tier as well for a few seasons actually. Passive never work. Yeah, of Nyx. No, that one doesn't. I would say that I would. I always think with Ganymede that I have to pick up more Ganymede because Ganymede is still very strong. It's one of those units like, okay, I'm getting fucked by Shizuka resets and that kind of shit. Ganymede. Solution. Well, you have, first have to strip it, but. Like, at least it can proc out then. Daphnis. I really don't like Daphnis. I've never liked Daphnis. I never will like Daphnis. Like, the thing is that you see some players like, oh, I have Daphnis and it has 70 crit rate and 30 accuracy. What? <laughs> like, I wouldn't trust the fucking thing if he had like 100 accuracy and 100 crit rate. 
I would still not uh, like trust the Daphnis to do anything good. Daphnis was placed at 75. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Don't call me out like that. <laughs> I said no names. Like, the moment that you're drafting a Daphnis on regular base with 70 to 85 crit rate, you cannot claim that you're unlucky. Like, you're absolutely in no shape or way able to claim yourself unlucky because otherwise you would have made it 100 crit rate. Like, anyone that runs their units that have to crit at less than 100 crit rate, you can claim a lucky person instantly. Because otherwise they would have made it... Otherwise they would have felt bad and otherwise they would have made it 100 crit rate already or not drafted. Great casting, you were born to do that shit, buddy. Thanks, great to hear, man. Really appreciate that. We got some math at the 80. I kind of agree. Nafti's 100. Yeah, not surprised. Totally not surprised. Would have put her 100 myself because you do have like the strong counts of Juno and Veramos and that kind of stuff. But if we pair it with like how the tier list looks right now, she fits 100. Oh, this is the fake widget. This used to be the real widget. I would say that Amdoid is not that bad. Raccoonia 100, yeah, it, it was chat. <laughs> I, I blame chat. They, they don't like the Renuki. I would say Amdoid is not that bad. It can be used here and there, especially against like things that take a lot of useless-ish turns. Uh, no, I can't be in the tournament. I can't be a player and can like I can't be a player and caster at the same time. Will be amazing. And Say made such a good pick over there, and he completely got counter pick like the idiot he is. Oh wait, and now you see me playing at the same time. Isis, Isis so needs to be able to land shit. If she just like if Isis got the buff where she would always land at least one of the two debuffs on the skill three, she would already be decent. Or I would say just one of the two always, and then the other one becomes like a fifty check. I think it would be totally fine. Like you, like let's say 100% Lancy of Oblivion and Silence at 50%. I think every Isis owner would love that, right? Now we have the widgets. Let's see if we're like disagreeing or agreeing on this one. I think people still feel like widget is uh, pretty strong. Uh, we got 190 over there. Not as convincing as the Tian Lang was. Tian Lang was still the most convincing 100 out there. I think Tian Lang is also going to be the most convincing 100 out there. Like, I don't think there's a stronger convincing one uh, for it. Hathor. <laughs> 100. <laughs> well, she's definitely not meme tier. She's stronger than meme tier, but she's just annoying tier. Remember the widget owners freaked out? Uh, I know one or two. <laughs> I know one or two that made me freaked out a little bit when widget was nerfed. Like, widget just needs uh, better tuning right now to be strong, but widget is still definitely strong. But it's not as strong as... Shut up. <laughs> I got no names. Yeah, Hathor is just boring, man. They should remove that unit. Sekhmet. Well, th this guy has some Sekhmet PTSD. We have we have three people in the chat over here with some Sekhmet PTSDs. <laughs> Sekhmet is also one of those units. The moment you would make her always land on her skill 3, she would just be so fucking insane. Like, Sekhmet would become like 100 tier if she always lands like her S3. But Sekhmet, I, I would say 85 for 85, more or less. Must be an American Cup player. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, actually. Bastet. Oh, you see some cleavers still use it here and there, but not as great. We are actually going to do viewer party on the uh, APEC region as well, which is going to be Saturday morning, very fucking early. Very fucking early. I think they started like 7 in the morning for us, maybe earlier. Would actually have to check. 
But yeah, they will start early as fuck. But that ends up at 70 in the end. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh yeah, this was one of those units that I <laughs> used a lot. <laughs> actually, this was one of my uh, old uh, Juno counters. It was actually with Nefties together, or just an armor breaker in general. This was a pretty nice Juno counter. You could even make it into a Veramos counter. But it's not really the greatest. You have better units out there. Like Barbara kind of does the same but better, but even Barbara shit. <laughs> Pants. <laughs> if someone has some Pantas uh, RNGing into uh, proc resisting. I would say Pontus is not used that much, but Pontus is definitely nasty. It's that the Pontus skill 1 and skill 2 mostly don't really fit the match that well. I, well, skill 2 is not bad, but skill 1 is just kind of wasted on Pontus most of the time. Because he's gonna throw back shit which he's not supposed to have because of skill 3. <laughs> How does that work? Ooh. Molly! Ah, do you guys remember the good old Molly meta? What did they nerf to Molly? They nerfed something on Molly? Well, they nerfed Molly where she can't glance on self, but there was another nerf to Molly, which actually pushed her out of meta back then. 85 on Molly? What? What kind of cleavers are those? We have cleaving people in here. Budget Eleanor. <laughs> Wait, but Eleanor is lower rank. Eleanor was put in meme tier. Well, this one is getting close to. Uh, it's, it's it's winning on the upper hand on meme tier still. Molly is still meme tier. Triton. It's one of those units. If you put your best runes to Tritons, if fifth pick Triton might be insanely good, but who's gonna put their best swift set on the unit that you would only fifth pick? <laughs> And there's so many units you already have to make swift, like an Asher, like a Zibala, like a Sonia, Athna, uh, Sekhmet. There's so many units that you already have to make fast that it just makes it very difficult to also have like a proper rune triton uh, in there that can actually do something here and there. Because most of the time then uh, he doesn't. Okeanos. Okeanos was actually one of the units I first picked for a bunch of seasons. Like the moment we had Artifact release until Okeanos nerf, I was first picking Okeanos. Okeanos was so strong. What team would you say goes around with Nefties? Uh, you have Han and Yan Hong. Well, Nefties, Yan Hong, and then the others are just counter picks and you're already good to go. Nefty's Young Hong is super strong. Because if your Young Hong does enough damage, you can boost up the Nefties to do an S2 on a Juno. And then your Young Hong can use S2 on that Juno, insta kill it. And also get attack bar up because you stripped the speed buff on it. Like Nefty's Young Hong, Han, Dark Robo, well, yeah, you're done. Which that's still under, which that's definitely still strong. Pontus. Oh, wait, I guess Okeanos ended up meme tier. Yep, Pontus. I would say that you have better options right now. Did I even place Farad in there? I did place Farad in there. I would say that the Farad is the new Pontus option. Like, if you kind of want to or uh, not Pontus, Poseidon. Tetra. Let's see if we see some Tetra likers in there. We see a few meme tiers. I definitely do feel like that uh, Tetra deserves more than meme tier. Like, sure, it's a counter against very niche-specific things, but I would definitely say that uh, Tetra is up there. Ends up being AD, which I think she kind of fits. Yeah, she's kind of like Alaya. But the only thing is she's... Like, you need different runes, because I really like a Swift set on her. It's very high on HP. So you got, like, plus 40k HP on, like, 180, 190 or so. We have Lydia. Yeah, Lydia is definitely meme there. I've seen some people try to use Lydia into cleaves. It works kind of, but also then again, not really. Hmm. 
The widget owner. <laughs> of course, the only widget owners would say that. If people that joined in later and they also want to participate in voting, you can still participate. Eludia is always one of those, or this is not Eludia. Wait, what is her name? Elena, Elena, Eludia, no, Eleanor, no. Eleanor, Eleanor. Eleanor is definitely an interesting unit, but it's also one of those units hard to fit in. Like, I always feel like that this unit is higher voted by people that don't have her, rather than... How come you don't uh, rate Han? Because Han is all the way at the start, pretty much. Han is over here. We're going from the units all the way, like, um, latest release to earliest release. But Eleanor 95, that's definitely pretty high. Tiana, yeah, I was spamming Tiana and Nefties, but it's not as great. Like, the idea is there, but if the team doesn't really work the moment how you want it to work, it kind of falls apart pretty fast. With pretty fast, I mean pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, you got some defense successes. Wait, my fate team got defense successes? What the fuck does my fate team win? <laughs> Okay, well, I did change my fail a little bit. Uh, next unit up, we got a Veramos. Veramos. I definitely, you do see a lot of people picking up Veramos. And I think the strong thing about Veramos is if you don't stun, you always push back. And that consistency that Veramos has, plus being a good counter against like Nefties and a bunch of other units, Nem Trap, that kind of stuff, yeah, definitely makes him strong. Wait, did we lose connection on the stream? Wait, oh, it's just the recording. Is that because my disk is full? Oh, shit. We Gucci? Yeah, I just noticed that I run out of disk space. <laughs> that doesn't happen too often. Uh, let me delete some old uh, stuff. We're gonna miss a few. Yeah, it's also saying that at the top right. No. It's not used to having these uh, bigger files. Uh. Okay, we should be good, you know, still, and then also continue the record. So we have we missed a few units. Veramos ended up at eighty five. We got Alshari and really enough in meme tier. It's used for some cleaves here and there, I guess. And then we got the Thessarion being placed, apparently also 85. We're still Gucci on the stream, right? Just to be sure. I ran out of disk space, so my recording started uh, crying, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I've been downloading too much. Oh, no, I'm, I'm making too many videos. Maybe see you in Bangkok. Uh, I will be in Bangkok. Most likely, it's not 100% sure yet, but I most likely will be there, but I will not be casting in Bangkok, though. We got Theomars in the meme tier. Theomars was meta in RTA in the first few seasons. But I was also at the point where no one really was knowing what to use, and they just used whatever they were comfortable slash familiar with. Wunsa, I feel like Wunsa is really strong as a fifth pick. But then again, I would say Wunsa becomes very strong if you have that Han. Without it, yeah. I live like two hours from Bangkok. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Have a good night, man. Oh, that also means like, wait, good night? Isn't it like six in the morning for you? Like, well, 530? Those are pretty late hours, sir. Nigong, well, yeah, that's... Nigong used to be strong. 421, okay, I was up, I know. Nigong used to be pretty strong. Work, work. U time, ah, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. But yeah, Nigong used to be strong when Wusa just got buffed, but because of 
Wusa nerfed, Nigong nerf was also pretty hard hitting. But yeah, the extra damage that Wusa used to do was a lot of damage on the desk too. Chiwu, definitely a unit that you see currently being picked up a lot more. I would say that Chiwu has good damage. That's the main thing that I would take on Chiwu right now. He actually has pretty good damage. Nigong and Amber suffered the fate because their siblings. Yeah, pretty much. Well, Tian Leng back in the days also had that issue. Tian Leng was hard nerfed because of Mo Long nerf. And then Tian Leng was the first unit where they changed the Awakening to change the S2. Which, towards Nigong, you could also do, I guess. Amber, same thing. Well, for Amber, they kind of did. The passive does change the S2, but still weak as fuck. We have Chibu ending up at the 90 tier. Same as Wunsa. I would say say yeah, I would say that's fair. Yeah, we have a lot of units in the 90 tier. Definitely a lot of units up there. I see like a lot of voters have left. If you guys still want to vote, I know it's a long sit though. But uh yeah, there's like 204 units in there. There's a lot of units. Meme tier is more. Oh, yeah, true. Meme tier is actually more. Wu Young, the unit we talked about earlier, if it actually had that... um, What's it called? Ignore defense skill 3. Be so OP. Would actually be so, so OP. But then they decide like, nah, too OP. Which I would definitely agree with. Yeah, I would say 20 seconds to vote would be the, uh, the sweet spot. Yeon Hong. Uh, how many 90, how many hundreds do we get? So we got a bunch of 95s. I would say she's not full 400. 85, okay, okay. Uh, it's kind of in between. It's kind of in between. Could go either way still. 50, 15, 15. Wait, are we going to stay 15, 50, 16, 15? Okay, pretty close, pretty close. Ended up at 95. Okay, okay. Yan Hong as strong as Eleanor. I'm not sure about that, though. <laughs> I would say Yan Hong would be... Like, if we look at, like, what else is at 100 right now, I feel like Yan Hong would kind of fit at 100, too. Like, she's stronger than the things at 95. Like, I would make the in-betweener tier for her. I'm not really sure if people are going to pick up Mi Yang in this, but I kind of left her in the list because, well, why not? Ah, oh, Fran is also there. Hey, <laughs> we have songs on Lao coming soon. Yay! Shit, dude. Yeah, Fran, <laughs> meme tier. Well, Obaba uses it. Well, Obaba uses a lot of shit that's meme tier. I'm not sure at lower ranks, though. Is this something that in C2, C3 is still picked up a lot? Like, I'm not sure if we have, like, C1 to C3 players in here. Is this still a unit that you see in those tiers? Or even there, you see more Rileys? I think Riley's just more all round. Should make an Obabo tier for all of his units. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Never seen it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. People rating Kinky High in a friend, yeah. Yeah, it's on Ching Lao. Great unit. <laughs> see more rallies. Yeah, totally not surprised you see more rallies. Song Ching Lao still 75? Are you sure? I was with Jet 100. <laughs> He's a meme. Well, I disagree on that one. So, your job. Okay, Song Chun Lao apparently is not a meme. He's 75. Still shit unit. RTA tier list? Yes, it's an RTA tier list. You can join yourself. You can click on this link and then you can start voting there. Ragdoll. Does Ragdoll get a 100th tier? Well, it seems to see decently. It's not as convincing as the Tian Lang 100th tier.
it's too bad that that it doesn't take these votes and then it would like average things out. Like it would be because currently it's just uh, counting as uh, we put like if there's a higher number of this than that, we're always going to place it in 100. Ragdoll's not that good. I think Ragdoll's still pretty good. But Yelm Hong is definitely stronger than Ragdoll, yes. Ragdoll 100? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Ragdoll's not 100 strong, no. Well, I would say like there's too much stuff in 90 to put Ragdoll in 90. <laughs> like in my tier list, I would say Ragdoll like 92 and a half, probably something like that. Chitian the Shung. Ninety five per Chitian the Shung. Wait, scribble here. Scri put put it in a hundred tier. Put put it in a hundred tier. It's already too many votes on me. <laughs> How the hell did Rakuni come up to a hundred though? But yeah, Jaeger in the meme theorem definitely deserved. Absolute shitter unit. Was away for an hour. I was recording. I don't even know. Like legitimately, I don't even know. Like this is not my doing. <laughs> Scribble will put it in his fifth. Yeah, Scribble will put it in me for sure. Xingzi. Weirdly enough, a unit that I feel sometimes that I should pick up, and then often are like, nah, probably not. <laughs> Like, Jinxia really has that issue, like, the moment he counters all the time and he stuns all the time, very strong. The moment he doesn't, eh. Uh, where's Sian in this list? Uh, Sian ended up 60. That's actually pretty... T like, compared to what's all placed that high, Siana being 60 is actually terribly low. <laughs> Leo. Wait, how high is Leo gonna get? 95. I feel like that's kind of fair. Sianna good though? Nah. RTA not really. I'm not sure if Leo 95. I feel like more for the 90 that's getting a bunch more votes at the moment. Least of all me. Man, that's true. That's true. It's usable. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm influencing the numbers too much by saying what I think. <laughs> like, people are just waiting for what I say and then vote for that. <laughs> Mei Ha Wang. Wait, Mei Ha Wang 100? Nope. <laughs> I would say Mei Ha Wang is definitely strong. Like, Mei Ha Wang is one of those miracle workers. Like, oh, I gotta destroy water? Sure, to hold my beer. Like, he just fucks up units. But I would say 90 is probably fitting for him. Yeah, I wouldn't put it higher than 90, no. So much bias flowing in. Hey, it's not me, it's the chat. <laughs> Did Ying not make the cut? Uh, Ying was somewhere... I think it's... Yeah, it's 85. It's actually not that bad. They didn't realize Patara's not good. Patara's definitely pretty nice. It's a good uh, late pick. Good into like Hay Gangs, Giannas, a bunch of other stuff. Leica is solid 80. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Leica is definitely still one of those units a lot of people don't have ruined up anymore, but I would recommend to rune up. Why is Dark Cass on 90? I disagree. <laughs> That's my thoughts. Like, Dark Cass is terrible. She needs two turns to make anything work. And her protection is pretty bad. I want to see where Gianna will be in this tier list. I have absolutely no clue what. People are going to troll me and put it in meme or like 100 or something in between. Well, that's the only vote you can have. But yeah, Laika definitely still deserves to have some runes. <laughs> Who is the him in this case? We got uh, Water Monkey on the 90. Okay, not bad. Ming. Ah, Ming is just a late pick. Like it's a late pick, like Leo Counter or something like that. 
Like it's not really something in it's it's not really like a comp kind of thing. King Joe. <laughs> oh man, that's so old. That's such an old meme, King Joe. That's also where the Ranuki came from. And the Konaminos. Bang Yang beats Ming though. Uh not always. <laughs> I, I, I kind of felt this coming in some way. Like, I'm somewhat surprised that Douglas only made it to like 85, but at Terra's at 100, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Some people have PTSDs, man. But it's also like, I would say that these votes are like, I would say that 70 to 90 votes are somewhat more common, but. <laughs> Where's Julian? Julian is not picked yet. It's uh, one of the first released units. Wait, Julian? Yeah, Julian is there. But yeah, that's... Uh... Rigel's such an interesting unit that if you read this kit, you're like, oh, that can counter AoE hits and then do so much. And then Rigel doesn't do anything when you pick it. Like, nothing. But yeah, apparently we have uh, Antares uh, being a stronger unit than Yan Hong. <laughs> oh, man. Traka. Also, one of those units, if they actually push through its buff, it will be very strong. Right now, it feels a little weird. You should title the tier list meme. Well, it's, it's made by chat. Like, live chat. Or something like that. Say she's not chat. I think that's the, the best way to say it. Kraka doesn't have a skill 3. Yeah, I kind of feel the same. Like, not gonna lie. Like, Kraka's skill 3 just feels weird. Asima, though. My Kraka made 85 even, though. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Kraka, how high do you get? How annoyed are a bunch of people by the monster tier list? I feel like that's very fair as well. Asima, ending up at 90, it seems. It could be 85. No way that Asima is as good as... Raka, this must be better. Uh, ends up at uh, 90. Uh, that's kind of a case. F95. Well, I would say that's uh, that's a fair take. F95 is one of those units that does really shine, but like good runs for it. And without it, it's kind of sucks. Like that hitting that threshold of 50% to stun. Very important. Only 39 people voting. Yep. We can have more people voting if you want to. Well, in total, we had like 180 people uh, or like participants. And we had like over 6,000 votes already. We do see some Rockies being picked up mainly to count the Julians, but it's still kind of meh. You always made the pick and ban that difficult the moment you pull in a Rocky. It's like, okay, if he bans my Rocky, banning the Julian is shit. But if he leaves my Rocky in, then I have to not ban the Julian. But if I don't ban the Julian and he bans my Rocky, then my whole draft is shit. It's, it just becomes so weird. <laughs> like one of those super specific one counters one other. I feel like our damage isn't high enough. Yeah, that's also the thing. You have to have... Pretty high damage to actually make it work. Ooh, this is going to be the fight. 100 or 95 for Nikki. Uh, 95 seems to have the upper hand. I would say with what's in 95, I feel like Nikki is stronger. Where's Hanbul? Not on the list. Like some units I did remove from the list. Otherwise we would be sitting here until tomorrow. But Nikki 95. Fair enough. I would still say slightly strong. But Nikki's also highly elevated by crazy rules. Gianna, though. Let's see what Gianna ends up. Meme tier. 
<laughs> I already said it. Like, it's going to be meme tier or 100. <laughs> okay, we actually have the upper hand of, like, some people properly voting. I would say, yeah, I would agree with 95. 95 is definitely a fair pick. Jana's definitely still strong, but it's... I would say people are over-spamming her and therefore her win rate is dropping. But her win rate was the lowest for any LD5 with high pick rate. And then there, her pick rate was not even that high. So I would even say that Gianna maybe fits like 90 even better. Laura, does Laura still go to... I have seen a lot less Lauras these days though. I feel like Laura is still pretty strong. Like what, yeah. What do you guys think? Well, you guys are voting, so that's what you guys think. <laughs> Laura's in the interest here. Yeah, imagine that Laura is as good as an Interes. That's our reference moment right now. Are you as good as an Interes? Well, apparently, Laura is as good as an Interes. Strong, but not like before. Yeah, I think she like the damage is still the same, which is pretty high. Lima, I think Lima's gonna be okay. Kind of all over the place. Nineties. Or as strong as Red. Yeah, he could be also as strong as Red. I think Lima on 90 kind of fits. Lima is strong, but the biggest issue about Lima is just Juno. Juno and Pra just fuck her up next level. I would say Lima got some more attention because Lima together with a Widget was very strong. Lima together with a Heigang is very strong. But without those units, she becomes kind of weird. And I really don't like her S2 not giving uh, dots. Like the slow is just stupid. Like, imagine you strip, like, a full Shizuka buff thing of, like, six buffs. And we have two turns slow. Great. I feel like Lima, both a buff and a nerf, Lima should give as many turns of a slow as that she strip debuffs. What do you guys think? So, one, to, one debuff means one turn slow. Six debuffs, six turns slow. I would absolutely take that. Because it just feels so unrewarding to... Have Lima just go for like, oh, you have six debuffs, seven debuffs stripped, you have two turns slow. I mean, well, fuck that shit. But we had Charlotte coming in at. Wait, where the hell did Charlotte even go to? He? Oh, Charlotte was in here on the AD as well. The fact that Lima doesn't awaken into Ak and her S2 makes it worse than Juno. Yeah, I would say so. Like the S2, like sure, the up rate of her activation to become 100 is nice. That's definitely something that I would say like, okay, that's an upgrade. But if you would give me accuracy over that, I would almost take it, in all honesty. And Sierra ended up at 80 as well. Rika. I would say Rika is kind of similar to Asuma still. Dread is trolling with FIFA Channel 95. I would say it's not that incorrect, in all honesty. I've seen more incorrect things. <laughs> FIFA Channel 95 is what bothers you in this list. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, this is going to be on YouTube as well. Juno, though. Juno is the first element. Well, not the first. Like, uh, Heigang is also already, like, super high up. But uh, Juno seems to lose to a Rakuni. <laughs> Here we go again. This is a tier list, not by me, Sapien. This is uh, Chet's voting tier list. You can join if you want. But we're pretty much already through the list. But yeah, Juno was not as good as a raccoon. I just see some ridiculous stuff. That's the thing, like the chat is folding. So <laughs> I don't have the full control of this. But I have a little to very non-control over this. Like also these, these rows are just empty. And look what's all piled up in here. Like the 90 is just a pile of shit. <laughs> Chat shouldn't get voting rights. <laughs> That's not how this works. <laughs> Annabelle, okay, we don't have some livered uh, enjoys over here. 85 is not bad for uh, Annabelle, I would say. Rika also 85. 
No way, Chad is serious. Chad is very serious with this Raconi, okay? Very serious. <laughs> Praha, though. Let's see if Praha ends up same or higher than Lima. I would say Praha is currently... Like, if you have... Like, Praha and Lima kind of need identical sets. Like, if you do not have Wajet, I would say that Praha probably has higher value than a Lima. But that's my opinion. I would still say that it's pretty strong. I don't like Pra anymore in the meta. Uh, yeah, that's true. Sonya kind of messed up, but to be honest, Lime also gets fucked up because of uh, Sonya. Sonya is definitely pretty freaking strong. Minotaur is right next to Sonya. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense as well, right? <laughs> like, I'm not sure. Like, also these two. Like Dark Cassandra and that kind of stuff, man. Next time I'll only make people vote the Paul Fight one. <laughs> Oof. Julian, Julian is coming up pretty soon. It's in here. We're going Artemil next, probably. Let's see if we have some Artemil likers over here. Uh, 75 to 85. Yeah, I think those are fair numbers. But yeah, once again, it would be better if this takes an average rather than just throwing it in the number of like the highest. Averaging would make a lot more sense. That's 75 hard. That's not too bad. Not too bad. This used to be so meta. Like 100 resistance on your whole fucking team with the Pipa Chow. Well, actually, this unit got someone the uh, SWC title back in 2020. Because this thing decided to proc out every fucking turn. Like, it was not even fitting in that meta. And it was still like, it fitted so well. <laughs> Garo Pipa Chow cleave days. Yeah, something like that. How do you know if someone is G3? We're all G3 in here. How many TL hangs do you have? <laughs> Great answer. I love that one. Zeratu. Thanks for the free to play Necro Guide. No problem. Zeratu 85 for RTA. I feel like Zeratu is also one of those units, like, it can be good, but you need such good runes to make it work, and then he's not worth your runes to be that good. Like, kind of Gianna has that same issue as well. Like, Gianna needs very good runes to outspeed everything, but is not really worth those runes. Chat is easily impressed. Yeah, let's see, let's see how impressed they are about Eludia. Wait, how the hell is this at 85? Like, who the fuck is voting? <laughs> no, vote whatever you guys want. But who the hell? How the fuck is this on 85, mate? <laughs> Make it 100. <laughs> I knew it. Some, some ass always does it. Is Wajet still 100? I think if I would make my own tier list, I think I would put Tier Lang 100. Wajet Laura 97 and a half. I think I would put Tian Lang as strongest unit in the game right now. Sean, let's see how well Sean does. A lot of people like it for 95. Yeah, Giselle is also... Uh, don't mind it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mind this one. I definitely do like Sean a lot in current meta. Yeah, it's it's but it's simply not as good as Rakuni. Nope. <laughs> it's not as good as Rakuni. It's good though. You're good, but you're not Rakuni good. Teshar. Wait, no one likes to do giants? Oh wait, this is not giants. <laughs> no, don't put it there. Put it there. Put it where it makes sense. This unit is not supposed to be in there, even though you have some people cleaving with it from time to time. My enemy picks a golem, I reduce Teshar. 
<laughs> that's, especially if it's a watercolor, you know, you know that that's right. You pick a dash of cone in the mirror, you fuck him up, right? Lagmaron. I'm definitely curious, like, where you guys will place uh, Teor, like, in comparison to Sean, because a lot of Sean owners tell me is like, oh, Jean should be, or, uh, yeah, uh, Teor should be nearly as good as Jean. I'm like, this thing gives speed buff to himself. And AoE stuns the team without touching it. Like, the other thing also gives speed buff. Like, yeah, you have to S2, S3, and then S2 again to get that. It makes no sense. 50 to 100 is empty. Yeah, it feels pretty empty. But we have a lot of meme there. Oh, wait, I put Perna in twice. Oh, wait, Eludia and Perna are there in twice. I will skip them at the end. Yeah, if you, you if you kill the bird, you get him again. Yeah, true. Probably ends up in mean tier. <laughs> All the birds end up in mean tier. Con! Is that a unit that people like to use? Swift Con. That's so not worth your runes. Like, you have a lot of those weird speed traps kind of things that you're like, yeah, that's totally not worth my runes. It would be nice, but that's not worth my runes. Daniel, I think Daniel ended up on 85? Such a mess. Oh, it's 90. Daniel's over here. Yeah, we have a lot of units piled into this. Daniel, higher than Jackson. I would kind of agree, in all honesty. Taylor. Taylor is strong, but is Taylor 90 strong? Like, look out how often you can pick these units and then Taylor. Yeah, where's Dark Monkey at? Should be in the dumpster, but Dark Monkey ended up at 75. What about Zima? Zima 60. Taylor makes it to a 90. Impressive. Impressive. I would put Taylor lower. I definitely do like a Taylor, but I would put it lower still. Could these nuts? Why is Dark Monkey so low? Dark Monkey should be lower than that. I like him at 50. Just compare everything to Antares, Braconi, and then vote. Then a lot of things should be 100. <laughs> because that's the two you should not compare to. Yeah, Cadiz is one of those units that you're like, ah, I could do a lot, and then mm, doesn't do a lot. Julian, there we have it. Yeah, I was going to say, probably solid candidate for the 95 to 100. Yeah, the S2 damage of this thing is insane. Plus, you don't need to build any tankiness on him. So, he needs very interesting... Runes of like you can just go full on speed damage and you're good to go. Plus on Nemesis, definitely very strong. And you only need 70 crit rate. Just got Cadiz. I have Cadiz in uh, Chronicles. There he's pretty decent, I would say. But Cadiz in this game, I would just use Cadiz for R5. It's pretty much the only place. Like anywhere else, I would probably not use it. Sarath, wait, Sarath ended up at 80. I don't even know why. <laughs> it's not that bad though, but it's also not that crazy good. Yeah, it's, it's some of those units that just go from F tier to triple S tier, like, instantly. 
But it's also interesting, like, Wajet got, like, two, three buffs, and then still, like, nah, nah. Laura got, like, four or five buffs and everything. Like, nah, nah, nah. Okay, speed buff. Now we're good. <laughs> we're, we're voting your vert. Like, just to keep in mind, your vert, not enemy vert. Your vert. That's what you're voting for. How are every how's everyone so lucky with bird on a hundred? I'm saying your bird. You're voting for your bird. Everyone here feels lucky, man. My chat is so lucky. Shin meme tier then. <laughs> exactly. It's a hundred. <laughs> what the fuck why it's bird? Oh, never mind, man. <laughs> bird is Raconi tier. That's <laughs> A lot of enemy bird votes in there, probably. Probably. Okay, let's... Everything that will end up in meme tier, I'm just gonna go for skip to speed things up a bit. Because I've been alive for four and a half hours and I actually kind of want to take a break. <laughs> But yeah, a third uh, Antares Raccoonie tier. That's uh, that's that's when you know you're something. The lead stream video, no. <laughs> Red eighty. Well, I would say that is fair. So fair. Asher. Oh, that's an interesting one. Definitely one of those units that a lot of people have been throwing their best speed sets at. But there's a lot of units you can throw your best speed set at right now. Because you have the Athna, Zibala, Sekhmet, Sonya, and I'll add it as well. Seems to be that Asher gets the 90 tier. Chroma. This is also definitely an interesting one. Chroma is always one of those units that people, if they don't have it, they value it very high. If they do have it, they value it very low. But I feel like there's a lot of like fair takes on this as well. And I would say a Chroma 80 is probably a fair take. Giselle is better than Escher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 84, that makes sense. Clara, ooh. We're voting your Clara, not enemy Clara. Just to clarify for the people dropping in 100. Your Clara. <laughs> I hate the lazy people going for me. <laughs> nah, 75 fits. 75 definitely kind of fits. Vanessa, ooh, good unit these days. A lot of first picks, like Vanessa was highly contested in uh, SWC in Europe. I'm curious to see how that will go in the APEC region. But in Europe, Vanessa was one of the higher contested units out there. Got some 95, some 90s. 95 is a little bit high on it though, but definitely a strong unit. Camilla it is. We only have a few units left. Camilla 90. Well, Camilla is definitely strong. But Camilla needs to be in the right draft. Because if you feel like, oh, Camilla is going to solo this whole team, often she doesn't. Han, ooh. Are we gonna be 100 or are we going to be 95? That's the question. Are you going to be Raccoonie tier? 
<laughs> That's the question. Are you Rakuni tier, Mr. Han? Seems to be that Han is voted for 95. Fire Vampire Top, yeah, it, it was Rakuni tier. Do, do, yeah, Bird is better than Han, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, let's skip through these guys that are going to be meme tier, anyways. Susano, meme tier, I guess. Uh, well, maybe a little bit more than meme tier. It could be used here and there. Not too many people pick it up, but I would say it's meme tier most of the time. Third boost A to B on every hit, huh? not only on the S3, obviously better. <laughs> uh, that's the best argument ever, man. That reminds me back at the day that um, at some point a good friend of mine, he went on a date and he met like the... The family of the girl he was dating and those were like heavy religious like super super like christian religious and they went instantly for the question which church do you go to so that's like you could ask like okay do you go to church or do you you, you go for the next level uh question just like which one do you go to let, let me check what level you're at like i'm not checking if i'm checking what level you're at so he got that question, he's like, uh, okay, that's not going to work out. Like He didn't say that, but in his mind, he's like, that's not going to work out. That's that's not going to work out. I'm just going to have fun right now because I probably will never see her again if they're that religious. So he just knows that's not going to work out. So he went with the answers like, I do not go to church because I believe not in a Christian belief. I believe in Harry Potter. And it was dead fucking silence at the dinner table, right? He's like, I believe in Harry Potter. And they're like. Then the younger brother went for the question, why do you believe in Harry Potter? He went for the best fucking reply ever. He's like, well, the Bible has two parts. Harry Potter has seven. <laughs> oh, I would have liked to see the face on these people, man. <laughs> That's like the best argument ever, man. Like, you're doing the math, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was, yeah. The numbers don't lie. Hey, just, but imagine having that response at that time, at that moment, man. Oh, fucking five head. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that's also the last unit with it because the last two were actually going to go for skips. Oh, wait, can I skip this? No, I still have to let it run. Don't vote at that voted meme. <laughs> voted on meme. Wait, I can't put skip. Why can I not skip? Just vote it on meme, guys. Yeah, that's what I get if I ask to vote it on meme. <laughs> My illusion is also 100. Thank you, guys. Yeah, they might as well put the pern on. Like, I don't know what happens when this thing runs out. Then I then have to save it or how that works. So I just, just put the pern on 100 as well. I don't care. Yeah, fuck it, Lydia. Just keep it on Awakened. <laughs> An Awakened is better. Can everyone post their personal tier list, please? Yeah, I, to be honest, I expected this amount of trolling way earlier. Like, I expected that with the first few picks that everyone started trolling already. So, I totally allow you guys. We had 195 participants in this. We had 7,990 votes to make this tier list. And I highly appreciate y'all being here. Because this definitely took a good amount of a chunk of your day. Definitely hope you guys also enjoyed doing this. We are definitely going to be uh, doing this again in the future. But this also does make a uh, messy list, I would say. <laughs> this absolutely makes a very messy list. But yeah, that's... Uh, 
I would say cool thing to do. Now make a team with a hundred. Yeah, you, you can pull like Pernan there, Lucian, Vert, and there's Raccoonie, your full hundred draft, easy. 